All right, let's now hear what the tank commanders had to say just before they entered the area. <laughs> We're keeping our cool. Morale is high. When it's time, we'll do what's needed. Tanks, artillery, ammunition, and lots of Israeli soldiers. That's how many once open areas adjacent to the Gaza security fence looked throughout the past few days as the IDF prepared its ground operation and signaled to Hamas what's next if they don't halt their rocket firing towards Israeli communities. And as the firing did not stop, the IDF moved ahead with plans and entered the Gaza Strip. The warnings that the retreat from Gaza will only bring an escalation in terror were disregarded by many throughout the years, but the security forces themselves were not surprised by the events. I don't remember another war where we had so much training designated for this eventuality. Also in terms of the motivation, we don't need to explain to the soldiers at this point or give them reasoning. On their way in, the soldiers remember exactly who they're going to protect. I want to tell all the residents that we are here for them and we are protecting them. We will win this war so they will have peace in their homes and so that we will finally have some peace in this country. My message to the residents of the South is, as an army, we are prepared to do whatever is necessary for you.